Welcome to this demonstration of Safford Communications hosted predictive VC dial ad hoc SQL process. So in this series of uh, videos what we're going to do is uh, show you how you can use a uh, graphical interface for query in relational databases such as Microsoft Access which is what we're looking at at the moment to query the MySQL tables at the back end of VC dial. Um, as always with these demonstrations, a uh, note of caution which is um, applications such as Microsoft Access and Navicat do update data, they can delete data, so if you're not sure what you're doing, best not to do it. Uh, if you need any support with anything that you see in this video or you need some custom development, you can contact us on 0845 241 1008. So in this demonstration what we're going to do is uh, show you how you can build a series of queries to look at list performance. So if you're buying data in from uh, multiple data sets, um, you're um, buying it in from different providers and you want to see which data is converting the best, that's not really available in VC Dial at all. Um, yes, you can export lists to, to Excel, but you know if you've got lots of lists that can be uh, quite a uh, long and uh, laborious process. So we're going to show you how um, with you know, 10 minutes work, you can actually get that result you know, literally in 5 seconds every time. So, uh, we're going to start with uh, Microsoft Access. We've uh, already um, created an ODBC connection to MySQL. If that's something you need help with, you can uh, let us know and uh, give us a call on our telephone number. Um, I'll just go to Safwood, so S A W F W O O D, Safwood.co.uk. So, uh, for the purposes of this uh, conversion rate, we're going to use uh, four tables today. So, we're going to start with uh, vstyle underscore uh, campaigns. We need vstyle underscore lists, uh, so that's lists with an S. Uh, so if we go vstyle underscore lists, we need vstyle underscore lister. Um, last thing we're going to want is uh, vstyle underscore statuses. There we go. So because uh, we've got primary keys, uh, the inner joins have been uh, formed for us, which is uh, good news, saves us a little bit of time. So step one is we want to uh, know how many records are in each list, but we want to know what campaign that's associated with as well. So we're going to drag through campaign ID and campaign name from vStyle underscore campaigns. We're going to get list ID and list name from vStyle underscore lists. We want to grab the status from vStyle underscore list and the lead ID. So the purpose of grabbing the campaign IDs and names and list ID and names is so we uh, we can obviously know which uh, which list the data has come from. We want status because what we want to do is say we want all statuses except new. Uh, reason is it's a conversion rate report based on what's been dialed. So if you've got 100,000 records that you dropped in, um, you made 100 calls and got 50 sales, so you've got, actually got a conversion rate at that point in time of 50%. And if you uh, did that conversion rate against the full 100,000 records, even though they're not dialed, um, it would be a lot less and uh, a fairly inaccurate report. So we've just put a little uh, criteria qualifier on here as to say it's not new. Um, I've just um, added uh, a total and what I'm going to do is say I want a count of lead ID. So when I run that query now, that's actually going to give me a count by list ID, by status um, and uh, a count. But because it's counting by status, that's only step one. So I'm going to call it select underscore campaign underscore count one. And we're going to do another query now where we're actually going to use the query as the uh, record source. We want campaign ID and name, list ID and list name. We're going to ignore status this time, put a total qualifier on it. And where we had a count before, we're going to do a sum. So what that's going to do is it's going to stop um, counting the um, number of records by status per campaign per list and just give us per list how many records are in there. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to call it select underscore campaign underscore count two. When I run this now, you'll see that it's dropped out the uh, the status and we've just got a campaign count per list. That's exactly what we want. So now we know how many records are in each list, we want to know how many sales are in each list. So to do that, I'm just going to save myself a little bit of time. I'm going to copy uh, the select campaign count and I'm going to call that uh, campaign sales one. I'm going to go in and modify this query. So we're going to get rid of the uh, criteria of uh, anything but new and I'm going to drop in some additional criteria which is sale from vstyle underscore statuses and uh, anything that's uh, got a status of yes. So anything that's a sale 
So when I run that now, it's going to give me a count per sale outcome. So you can see here there's different you know, sale outcomes. Uh, it's given me a count per one. So that's kind of step one. Now what we're going to do is query that query again. Uh, we want list ID, list uh, campaign ID and name. List ID and name. We're going to ignore status. Uh, we're going to ignore the sale. And where we had a count before, I want to sum that. So when I run this query now, we've just got per list how many sales have we made. I'm going to call that select underscore campaign underscore sales two. And we're nearly there. So now I've got a count of records. I've got a count of sales. And we're going to turn that into a report that looks a little bit better. So I'm going to use the second query um, for each one of those sets that we did. So we've got to campaign count two and sales uh, two. I'm going to join this query based on list ID and campaign ID, which is uh, why we pull those through. And I'm going to drag through campaign name, list name, doesn't matter which table it comes from, and uh, pull through sum of count of lead from uh, campaign two, and I'm going to call that something a little bit better. So I'm going to give it an alias of total records. And I'm going to get uh, the sum of uh, lead ID from sales and uh, again we're going to give that something a little bit easy to recognize so we're going to call that an alias of total sales so that's going to give me uh, now when I run this query uh, records per list and number of sales but uh, we're going to just go one better so we're going to say uh, an alias of conversion and that is going to be a uh, total sales divided by total records and I'm going to format that to be a percentage and I'm going to call it select underscore results okay so I'm going to run this and that's now going to give me an actual conversion rate so uh, if we look at this in more detail and I'm going to sort this uh, largest to smallest so you can see here now what we've got is the campaign, the, the list ID, so the list name, how many records are in there in total, um, excluding new records, of course, how many sales have been made and what that conversion rate is. So, you know, um, from, a, uh, from an analyst perspective, I'd be looking at, I'd be ignoring this top campaign because there's not enough records there, that could just be a bit of a fluke, but I'd certainly be looking at these uh, campaigns where we've got a couple of hundred records, especially file uh, 1650, you know, these. Um, you know, 2,000 records being called, 22 sales made, conversion rate of 1.10%. So that says to me, if I was buying uh, whoever I bought that data from, I'd be going back to them because that's my uh, top converting campaign. So that's just a uh, select. Uh, that's just a uh, couple of select queries. Um, what we can do is, uh, rather than showing you the uh, the query side of things, we can build reporting suites where you've got a nice graphical interface. You just select what report you want and it will uh, spit that out. Um, we can set up reports on demand so we can actually email you those reports um, in dashboard format on the hour every hour at close of play. Kind of things that we can do extra as well, I'm just going to quickly show you in here, is um, say we wanted to turn that into something that could be printed and it's a bit better on the eye. Um, we could just go to uh, highlight that go to the reporting wizard um, pull through campaign name list name pull through everything um, we're going to group it by uh, I'm not interested in the campaign I'm more interested in lists I'm going to group it by list and I want to sort conversion rate uh, ascending we'll check that later uh, step format I'm just going to modify the uh, report design Okay, so um, just because I'm a little bit of a stooge for these things, I'm going to centralize all of that information and uh, I'm going to call this uh, header here list. I'm going to call this header here uh, campaign and just for uh, hygiene's sake, I want a conversion rate on the right hand side. Let's just uh, pull this back. There we go. And I'm just going to uh, have a look at that report now. Okay. So let's 
just tie that up a tiny bit. Okay, so I've got um, headings here of list, and uh, what it'll basically do for every list, it'll tell me the campaign, effectively what we've just seen, but uh, in a uh, in a reporting format, just so that it's a little bit a uh, little bit easier on the eye. If we were going to go and tidy that up a bit, what we'd do is uh, we'd go and make those headers bold, underlined, increase the font size, just so that it's a bit more obvious that they're headers. Um, putting it in this reporting format is uh, obviously much better because it makes it uh, easier to print. What we can then do as well is we can go in uh, to the record source of this report that we're going to do now, and we're going to make now because we're querying queries. Yeah, it's not going to like that. Uh, so sort feature is not going to be too happy on that. But what we can do is, uh, you know, if you wanted to say um, conversion rate needed to be above or below, well, above a certain level, what we could do is go to uh, conditional formatting, set up a rule, and say that uh, if a value is greater than uh, one, um, then you know we'll uh, turn that green. Um, and we'll add that as a rule. If we say the value um, is uh, less than uh, one, um, so we'll have to change that to point one. For uh, decimals, one. That's, uh, we're just going to put some conditional formatting on here. Okay. So you know what we've done is we've just put a qualifier to say if the conversion rate is less than one percent. Um, be uh, be red, and then if there's anything above that, then it would uh, it would change to green. So. Lots of reports, we can make that much more uh, print friendly for you as well. We can go and change the name of it just to say uh, list conversion rates. We can add your logos, we can send that on demand. But you know, there's a really quick way. Uh, you know, we're talking 20 minutes work, you've got list conversion rates that can just be run instantly on demand. 20 minutes to set up, um, you know, does the uh, does hours of work for you straight away. So again, if you need any support with this kind of thing, give us a call. Uh, it's uh, 0845 241 1008 at Safwood Communications. Uh, we're able to help you with uh, CRM and workflow with VC Dial, uh, hosting VC Dial for you as well, but certainly everything that you see in these videos, and I hope you find them useful. Thank you.